Yo, one moment. I'm gonna just come to the front, turn around. Turn to the side. Look at that. Frame my ears. And that's it. That's all I did. That's it. Make some noise, y'all. Make some mother freaking noise, y'all. This is Free Trust Equal wig. This is Charlie, Style Charlie. I have her in an OM30 gold. Make some noise. I'll wait. So listen, this has been my wig for like forever. This was the first short hair wig that I purchased that introduced me into shorty doo-wops or AKA some people say auntie wigs and all of that like that. This wig here set the milestones for every other short wig that I own to fall in place. Now, I may have like a hundred or something different style, different color wigs or whatever. Synthetics, of course. I only got like one human hair. No, I have th three or four human hair wigs. Three of them are short. One of them is like curly lit. You know what I mean? Um, But... This unit here really set the ball for me. And this really made me not buy short wigs for a long time. Because I was able to get everything I wanted style-wise, color-wise, just popping-wise in one unit. And this is, that, this is that wig. This is Free Trust Equal Wig. This is the Charlie style. And I have her in the OM30 Gold. Make some noise! Yay! Okay. So, this wig on my head is four years old. This is not a new wig. This is an older wig. I literally probably only had to repurchase her once. That was it. But, baby, when I started wearing this particular one out the pack from last year, I've been wearing it two years. But I first purchased this style, like, four years ago, towards, like, that middle of 2016. So... When I tell you guys, this wig has been solid for me. This wig has been solid. Um, I own a lot of like lengthier, more lengthier wigs or whatever. And even more wigs with like volume or whatever. But like my short hair collection wigs, I don't really have that many of them as you would think. I probably have like maybe at the max 15. Because once I find a short hair one, and if I like her a lot, I just stick to that. And I just don't really fool around. I restock up on the wigs more than anything. Because I just... I gravitate towards this style and once I find something that just go yes. like once I get it I'll be like yes that's it that's all I need I'm good so it's kind of funny because this wig is literally four years old and I want to say this wig didn't even cost me $20 actually the wig was cheaper four years ago when I purchased it than this wig is right now I ordered it off GlamourTrust.com and this was when like when you could go to that clearance tab that they had and like they actually had the wig available in stock in the colors available to purchase and it also was like the clearance so it was like I want to say this wig was probably like $12.99 and when I tell y'all when I came across this wig again I think I had to pay $18 for it off, off some site I can't remember but because I had not saw her anymore, I just jumped on that and brought it again. Because I was like, I don't want to take a chance and not have it. And I'm glad I did that because I've been wearing this particular wig on my head for two years now. I assumed that I did a review for this wig, but I didn't. So we're coming at you with one today. So this wig, you guys, do not have any combs, okay? The wig does not have any combs. Um, It has good adjustable straps, like... Just the regular standard adjustable uh, adjustable straps. Um, and I mean, that's it. It's a full cap wig. It's very simple. You can slay this unit straight out the bag. 
I didn't have to do any cut or customization to it or nothing. It's just really about how you frame it and play with it in your face. So, again, I didn't have to do anything. I just put her directly on my head and I was good. Um, Big key. Big, big key. And I noticed with a lot of my wigs. Um, so, when you want to kind of like frame your face with them, what you want to do, I'm about to share this with y'all. Don't tell nobody else. So, you want to kind of take some hair. Like when you put it first on your head, you want to take some hair and you want to put it like that over your ears. Let your ears kind of hang in there, carve in. It kind of help you get used to the wig, you know what I mean? So you see how like when the hair is covered, it's like, what? But if I was to take this and kind of carve my ears in the, into it and push some hair like either up or back and let my ears kind of... You see, it looks different. You know what I mean? It looks more you. So, that's just a little something I noticed and picked up on when wearing these shorty doo-wop wigs. Um, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So, this wig is like a light, yakky texture. Um, you can kind of, like I say again, this wig is old, y'all. It's really old. This is not a new one at all. And when I tell y'all this wig still stands the test of time for me. Like, I can still wear this wig, go somewhere, and people kind of be like, oh, your hair is cute. You know what I mean? And it's, it looks like it can be mine. I kid you not. It, it just if it, It's all about framing your face. So, if you could frame your face really, really good with the unit, you'll be good. Now, see... You could do like stupid stuff like this with it. You could do all type of crazy things. You could do pixie mohawks, all type of stuff with it. Like you really could. I mean, and don't forget you guys that if you need to, shift it around to fit you and service you. Like really make this wig your own. And that's what this is all about. So I give this wig a 10. This is a, a nice like medium texture, yakky texture. And I like that aspect of it because I really do believe that's probably why I'm able to still keep the style as is till this day. Um, get into that color though. Like even though it offers a little streak, but that streak is strong. Like it just looks nice. It looks really cute. And I love it. You know, you could kind of find your style with it. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. I really, I didn't want it to really be this long, but forget it. Okay, so this is the wig I'm on. Um, this is the style I'm gonna just end the video on or whatever. But again, you guys, if you guys can get your hands on this wig and you guys do want to kind of do like a shorty unit and you want to play around with it, I feel like for this one, you don't need really no styling tools. You don't need scissors. You don't need anything. It's just really about you framing the wig to your face. Like I said, the texture is not that silky. It's not as silky. So it's really like a yakky texture. And so as soon as you kind of grope it it kind of sticks and stay there so that's another thing that i love about it um uh, unless the wind blows unless the wind blows then okay yeah 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 you're gonna have to readjust yourself but if the wind don't blow and you're inside at work and you're good to go i feel like this one here is definitely a good one to have in your arsenal thank you guys so much for viewing my vid please like comment and or subscribe i will talk to you guys later baby bye